Hello, welcome to my video on collar fitting. I get a lot of private messages that ask me about what size do you think my miniature horse needs for a collar, and they'll send me a picture. Well, it's really hard to tell just by looking. This mare has a very upright uh, hair, mane, and so it gives her neck a thick appearance. So you think, wow, oh, that's a 13-inch collar easily. So let's just take a look and see what size she really needs. Let's do that again. And she moved. So we're going to take it at the elbow here. Actually, not up into the elbow, but just below the elbow. And we're taking it right there so our tape isn't twisted. And it shows just a little over 11 inches. 12 inches would be right there. So according to this, she needs about 11 and a half inch collar. So another way, since we've already got our tape measure out, that I was actually shown to do it, is you find in the juggler groove here and where it meets the muscle, right there. Okay, so we're going to set our tape there. And then we don't measure back to here because the collar actually sits in here. Just right in the groove there where the neck and the withers meet. So we're going to do it that way. And it shows 11 inches. Okay. So the other way we do this, more proper way, wind up my tape measure here a little. Okay. And you take two carpenter squares. I found these really cute little tiny ones at the dollar store. Metal. But they only go to 12 inches on the outside edge and 11 inches to the inside edge. So since our tape measure and the forearm said a little over 11 inches, we'll just see. So we put our squares together like this. So it forms like a caliper. Okay. We're going to take this, same thing, we're going to set it here at the bottom of the neck. She's got a little fat pocket there, so her collar will actually sit on that fat pocket right now. And we're not going to measure all the way back to the withers. Again, find the groove where the neck and the withers meet, right in here, because that's where your collar is actually going to sit. So we'll take this. And we will go like this. This right here is the length of the collar we're going to need. So we will grab our handy dandy tape measure here. We will lay it across here. And there is the zero. And voila, we come out to about 11 and a half inches. So let's measure us a couple of collars and see what we have. This is the rim. This is the face. So we're going to measure from the top to the rim. This collar is 11 inches. That's the most important measurement there is. Our next collar, let's see what it is. We'll measure from that to here, and it's just two and a quarter inches long, or 12 and a quarter inches, sorry. This is an older collar that we've been using a lot, so it has like compressed. So let's go to the last collar I have out here. It's a newer collar, so we'll measure it the same. There and there. So it looks like this one is two and a half or twelve and a half inches long. Okay, 
So when you buy collars, they're not going to be dead on exactly perfect all the time. Occasionally there'll be just a little bit of fluctuation. That's just the nature of the beast. So let's go try these on and see which one of the three fits our little horse the best. Start with our 11 inch collar. It has the latch top on it. Just take and gently slide it over the neck at the narrowest part of the neck. Slide the hair down. Relatch it. And then slide it into place. So here we have it. It doesn't quite sit all the way back to the shoulder. It's got a little bit of a gap here, probably about an inch. It's above there. But now if push come to shove, we could use this collar. It would be a little tight though. If you want to make it look big, we'll ask her to drop her head here. Look at how much room she has. Makes it look too big. But it's not. It's actually a little, I wouldn't say it's too small, but I wouldn't use it on her. Maybe after about a month of conditioning, maybe she'll fit into it better. Have the smaller of the two 12 inch collars. There we are. Looks like just right at 12 inches. Again, we Carefully slide it on. This has a buckle top. So buckle it up. Slide it back into place. This collar fits her pretty darn good. It's a little wide on the sides here. So we can fix that with a pad. And actually See, I can put a hand in here. So this collar is actually a little too big. So let's see what happens if we add a pad to it. Okay, so we've added a small neck pad to the collar. Neck pad just sits here, up here at the top. So she will actually, to use this collar, we would need a full pad to come down. But this gives you an idea how a collar should fit. When it's pushed back, it should fit along the shoulder blade here. That's where all the pushing power comes from. We want to just be able to slide our hand in to the neck here. Like so. And for a collar to fit nice, it should fit where you could just barely fit a hand in here. I've got it pushed over to show this. So, we'll try the next collar. Here we have the collar that is 12 and a half inches, roughly. So let's try this one on. It also has a latch top. It's a newer collar. Slide that on, and again, this collar fits a little large. If we pull it over to the side, there's an awful lot of play here. A little bit too much play for this horse. A little, little bit too much here. So what are our options at this point in time? Well, we can pad this collar. I can go in and make her a full, full pad that will come all the way down to about here and back which will take up the slack in here. Or we can try another experiment. Yay, my favorite thing. So hang tight. I went through my tack room and because I have a wide assortment of collars, is I've got this 11 inch collar. It's actually almost 11 and a half inches. Measure it from the top to the bottom here. So it's like 11 and 3 eighths. And remember when we measured her forearm and 
her neck and it comes to just about 11 and a half inches. Well, let's see how this collar will fit her. Lined up. Okay, and let's go. Her horse, again, has a latch top. Carefully open it. Main out of the way. We latch it. Slide it back into place. What a difference that little quarter inch makes. Well, three eighths of an inch. We can slide our hand in here. I've got it pushed back against her shoulders. It actually is sitting against her shoulders here. I have just a little bit of play right here, just a tiny bit. But the face of the collar is actually onto her neck. Well, just a tiny bit of play, but that's what we want. Okay? So I think that this is what we're going to go with. Let me show you the face here. The, this outfit's nice along her shoulder blade here. I can just slide my fingers in. Not too much here. All right. So we're going to play with this 11 and 3 8 inch collar for her. And as she builds up muscle, she'll probably move into the 12 inch collar. Thank you for watching.